Uh, Gunner329 says, question, do you think Havertz can become more clinical? He's still relatively young and has great movement, which is half the battle. I'm not expecting him to become Haaland, but significant improvement. You want to see significant improvement? Yeah, look, I mean, I think with Kai Havertz, a lot of it is confidence. I really, really do believe that. I think we get or, or we see a lot of players like that in in the modern game players that when it's going their way they seem unstoppable but when it's not they can kind of go into their show a little bit and i think a lot of that is down to personality and listen you can't change someone's personality um you can make them more resilient by sort of coaching them in the right way and i think experiences and then the fact that maybe when they go through a dip they're able to come out the other side builds their own kind of resilience internally to you know bad patches and poor periods, et cetera, et cetera. Um, do I think Kai Havertz can get better? Yeah, because I think the confidence thing is the biggest thing with him. I don't think it's about technical ability, um, really. I think we can all agree that he's got that. And I think even prior to his signing, people were all saying, no, he's got that. Like, don't worry about that. It's whether he can impose himself and make himself stand out in our team. That was the question. And the other big question was, what position he was, was he going to play in? Now, where you have to give Kai Havertz a lot of praise is that when he came into the side, he was asked initially to play in midfield. And I think that when Mikel Arteta brought him in, he brought him in with a view to utilising him both at centre forward, but also in that left eight position in certain games when that maybe felt like the right thing to do, where maybe we could get away with playing Rice or Partey as the lone six um, and being a little bit more forward thinking and front footed. The problem was, is that, you know, he ended up almost getting stuck in that position because of the problems that we had in midfield, i.e. Thomas Partey being unavailable. And then you got to the point where if you took Kai Havertz out of that midfield, left Declan Rice in there and played maybe, I don't know, Fabio Vieira or Emil Smith-Rowe, you were taking a lot of physicality out of our midfield and you were then asking Declan Rice to produce and provide all of that whilst the likes of Vieira, who's a bit slight, Emil Smith-Rowe, who has bulked up a bit, but still isn't at the level where I'd call him physically imposing, you'd almost be putting Declan Rice in a much more difficult position. And I think a big part of the reason that Mikel Arteta persisted with Havertz in that left eight position, even when it wasn't working amazingly, now it wasn't bad, but it wasn't working amazingly. We were talking about how maybe we weren't creative enough with him in there, et cetera, et cetera. But I really do think the physical side of it was the big reason that Mikel Arteta persisted with that for as long as he did. And I've just brought up Kai Havertz's uh, appearances in the Premier League this season for Arsenal. And if I count the first six, seven, they were all in midfield. He played uh, against Manchester City at centre forward when he came on for 15 minutes. Then he went back into that midfield. Then he played every other time in midfield up until um, the 4th of February. Now, Kai Havertz had only scored four goals for Arsenal, one of them of which was that penalty that we gave him at Bournemouth to kind of get him off the mark. But he'd only scored four goals for Arsenal prior to that switch. And since that switch in February, where he's played predominantly at centre forward, he has dropped back into midfield on a few occasions. And when he's not started games, he's come on as a sub and played in the midfield. But he's then scored one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight goals. So he scored double the amount of goals since moving to centre forward. Makes sense, right? You move from centre for, uh, from centre midfield to centre forward, you're going to get more opportunities, you're going to get more goals. But I think the fact that it's double, given the freedom and licence that he had to get forward even when he was playing as the left eight, shows quite clearly that Kai Havertz's best position is at centre forward. I think that Kai Havertz gives you stuff at centre forward that Gabriel Jesus can't. He gives you an option to go long because of his frame and his physical presence. As tenacious and as hardworking as Gabriel Jesus is, he doesn't give you that. The other thing with Kai Havertz is his work rate. It is incredible because there are not many players that can drop deep, can go left, can go right, can do all of the work outside of the penalty area, but can still find themselves or make sure that they get themselves into the six-yard box when it really matters, when the ball's going to come across and turning crosses the way he does. So I've been massively impressed with him. Is there room for improvement? Yes. But will Kai Havertz ever be clinical 
enough for people to kind of never bring up the topic or subject of, of maybe potentially bringing in another centre forward? I don't think he will be. But I think it's one of those situations where you know what you're getting and you've got to decide whether you prefer the benefits that he brings you off the ball and all the other th stuff that he brings to the team or if you would prefer someone who's maybe less involved in the game, generally speaking, but who's maybe a little bit more clinical in front of goal. If your wingers are clinical, like Saka, like Trossard, and both of them are, you you would have to say, then you can get away with it. But will Kai Havertz ever be that clinical finisher? Not for me. Not for me. But I now know what Kai Havertz is all about, and I don't judge him solely on that. I'll judge him on the other things that he brings to the team. I think it's really important to do that.